All right, guys, welcome back to uh, another little session here on Hogwarts Legacy. Um, we have made fairly good progress. I believe I'm up to pushing level 30 now. Yep, 29, getting very, very close. And last time we wrapped up quite a lot of quests that had popped into our view. And we've got a few new ones here, uh, which we will talk about in just a second. But the first thing that I wanted to point out today, uh, if you don't recognize where this is that I'm standing in the castle, it's this long hallway. And of course, there's a button right there on the wall. Uh, just like the DePulso puzzles. This is actually the room that I think they intended you to do first. Because when I interacted with this button, it did say DePulso puzzle number one. So I have already completed this and I've gotten out of it what I needed to. Um, and since I'm not showing solutions to the puzzles, at least while the game is brand new, um, I will let you discover that on your own. Uh, but just know that this is where the technical first DePulso puzzle room is after that initial side quest. So the one that I did in kind of that uh, Egyptian-themed room that was actually puzzle number two. This is puzzle number one. So where I am standing on the map is right over here. It's in the library annex hallway. That's that's where I'm standing. So if we drill into here, you'll see right there to post puzzle room, the closest fast travel point, central hall behind it, divination behind that potions. So it's right over here on this side of the castle down this hallway. So that's the very first thing I wanted to show you. So if you were trying to uh, discover as much as you can and get all the puzzles you come across completed and somehow like me you missed this one uh it's right down here okay so yeah we uh did that puzzle no problem there i did find one more daedalian key so i'm getting close and i did find another demigod statue so even though it appears that i've got the top spec version of alohomora open and it's telling me to do something else on the quest. Uh, clearly, when I drill into the back, I can see there's five more Demigai statues in Hogwarts. And to that end, uh, we can see on the side quest that I got an owl from somebody. Um, and that I should go see this guy over in Hogsmeade. So that's exactly what we're going to do next. We're just going to see if we can finally wrap this quest up. See exactly what happens. Uh, probably should tag him so I know where he is. We'll say track. Hit back. And since we didn't travel, we'll have to re-click on Hogsmeade again. No problem. Uh, looks like he's going to be right over there somewhere. All right, so we'll just travel to South Hogsmeade. Okay, so it looks like maybe we're about to have this wrapped up, but it still is interesting that they're appear to be five more that I can pick up in Hogwarts, which you'll see five of 10. So there's still five more in there somewhere. So, okay, yeah, he is still over there by the faculty tower. Uh, that yellow line was just showing me the fastest direct path to the castle. I was thinking that was odd because he's always at the faculty tower. I should have just drilled into it, but easy enough. Just travel back to the same place you always do. And uh, hopefully this will wrap this up. Okay, so that does officially complete the quest, but yet again, if we just tap back, we can confirm that there are still five more to be discovered inside of the Hogwarts grounds. So we will eventually grab them all because we're going for 100% completion, so we'll have plenty of exploring left to do. Uh, just like I'm pretty sure I've yet to go down the viaduct, you know, down that path, we will eventually do so. Uh, but for now, uh, we're good for that. So the next quest, um, we've got a couple different ones. We're only two away on the Daedalian keys. Those just take exploration, a little bit of RNG. We've got this one that I've been saving for a while. I mean, I'll do it eventually. It's just for a cosmetic. We've got an update uh, from Poppy Sweeting. She wants us to meet her in Hogsmeade. Uh, Natty wanted to talk to us because she thinks she's about to be in trouble with her mom. And then we have uh, Mrs. Weasley quest, which I fully expect <coughs> is going to unlock the next round of main quest pathing. So I'm going to be starting with Natty by tracking this one. And we will just try to keep this quest log as reasonably clean as we can. So... 
Here we go. Located on the map. She'll be in the Divination Tower. And we've got a fast travel point right over there. And then we see there's obviously several side quests we can pick up from various NPCs on the map, which we will do so. What do we have here? Oh, a demiguys. Well, that's fortuitous. And I've absolutely been up here before, but, you know, this castle's huge. In the places that you've only casually passed by, I certainly didn't remember seeing one of these up here. But we'll go ahead and grab it. That only leaves four to go. So one more down. Don't need to mess with anything else up here in the tower, but we're going to pop right back into the quest log again. Um, so now we've got Poppy. Two of those left. Four of the Dimmy guys is left. Uh, Professor Weasley, that's probably a main. So I'm going to go meet Poppy in the three broomsticks. We can say locate on the map and just grab immediately the closest fast travel. Yep. Uh, right there. Perfect. Okay. So just another bit of a quick little side rundown. I'll say it again. Now I think uh, what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to quickly go back to the Hogwarts map. Travel to the room of requirement. <coughs> I have some gear that I have yet to identify, so I'm going to do that real quick. And then we will quickly travel back to Hogsmeade again as per usual. And I will offload some stuff that I do not need. Okay, that takes care of clearing out all the stuff we don't need. We're back up over 20,000 galleons yet again. So effectively, we are now... Um, Mostly ready to go talk to Professor Weasley. And again, I expect this is going to open up another main path quest line. I am just assuming. It was Okay. Ah, because I'm going to practice Transfiguration, of course. So, why don't I just take... Uh, I can use this one, because I don't need that on the same. So, let's just put that... Oh, whoops. Helps if I actually... Okay, as I suspected, uh, getting this done was going to open up uh, some more alternate main quest path options. So let's just jump back over to the field guide and we'll check out our quests and see where we would like to take this next. Sebastian, by the overlook of Hogsfeld, gobbledygook, Emmett, that's part of the Ranrock main quest. So, I mean, these are both mains, but I think um, I'm actually going to start here with Sebastian, meeting him by the overlook. So let's just locate this on the map first. All right, he's over there. So let me just fast travel to the bog, and then I can quickly run or fly up over to here. Okay, well... I had a quick little uh, game crash, first one I've had this whole time I've been playing, but uh, only having to redo a couple bits of work here. We're getting the notifications from Logdoc and Sebastian. So again, for my purposes, I'm going to drill into the quest. I'm going to select Sebastian uh, first, locate on the map. We're going to take that same fast travel that I had spotted before. And fast travel over to that one in the bog. Oh, come on. Right there. Perfect. <coughs> and we'll do log dock second. I think log dock is kind of down the main path. And Sebastian is probably going to be related to trying to cure his sister. That's my assumption. Okay. Let's talk to Sebastian. I've been so distracted by the scriptorium and Slytherin's book. 
that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. I'll let you lead. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other nice thing about clearing it out is because these all count as bandit camps. So I'm getting new um, traits that I can pop in on my gear in the room of requirement. And I've found some new ones over here. So, I mean, yeah, if you don't want to have to fight your way through, no problem. But I would recommend if you feel like you can do it, just go for it. <clears throat> all right, keep going further, further, further. So far, so good. Now we get another little fight. Okay. Little puzzles. Passageway. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Acting a bit of a knob there, eh, Sebastian? Okay, <clears throat> so that takes care of one of the main little side quests here. We're getting closer. Uh, that's obviously going to be related. Poppy for the dragon egg. Yep. Uh, this will be related as well. So these are related. That's not. This will be the next one that I'm going to grab. Hogsmeade, somewhere in the town square. Yep, easy enough. And she's standing right over by that fast travel. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows <laughs> she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. All right, so maybe we should disguise ourselves. There she is again. She's From a distance. Fantastic. And this is the first time I've decided to go full stealth, um, given that it's a dragon. I, uh, I'm not keen to spook it and have to get in a fight with it when we're trying to help it. So I'm just going to stay disguised. Oh, so now we've turned visible again. That's that's great. Ok. 
careful, Poppy. Well, we live to adventure another day. Okay, <clears throat> that didn't take too long. That was a pretty fun little little detour quest there. We do. Okay, so let's double check our quest log one more time. Okay, yep, these are going to be related. So I think before I do that, I'm going to do this. Because uh, this is related to my idea I had that made Sebastian so mad after the last, last quest. So we're going to do these in a slightly different order. But let's just go ahead and head down this next main path. Okay, we speak with Emmett. He's up in the tower. So the closest fast travel is there. He'll be at the top. Hello there. Hello, Amit. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? Okay. So, we'll be able to do a quick fast travel here. World map. Where is the mine? Ah, we have a fast travel point right by it. Perfect. Like it's going to save time. Alright, here we go. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here. Okay. These quests get <coughs> more interesting the further we go in. Really prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. Just learn what we can and get out. Look at this method. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. I guess it's a goblin elevator? Yeah, all right. If we can find any plans. Bound to be plans around here somewhere. A schematic. They're building something. I can't quite but that you Curious. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty headed. <laughs> Complex than I had expected. In 
Another schematic. Rebellion. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. I want to All right, still making our way through. This is a bit more of a straight shot than the last Goblin Mine dungeon that I did, for sure. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lord Gok what we found. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. Okay. <clears throat> so, another one in the books. Even getting this deep into the levels, uh, the XP is significant enough that um, it's going still relatively quickly. I'll double check the quest log. Yep, it'll be the last one here with Sebastian. So this will be the final one that I do today. And it looks like we're going to get another curse as a reward. I'm expecting to still have the option to decline it, which I will do. Uh, but let's go ahead and grab Sebastian. He is over there. We head to Feldcroft. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I needed to tell you what I've learned. This ought to be cool. I like these little dungeons. These are always pretty fun. Sure, that foul smell is the scent of success. Rebellion. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. All right. So, yep. As I suspected. So. Typical to how the prior little exploration dungeons of sorts that we've done up to this point. Just take your time. It's pretty obvious where the main path is. You've done it. I knew we'd get through. Mm -hmm. I felt it in my bones. Ha. 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 Before we trudge on further, I just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Yeah, these are straightforward once you know what you're looking for. You Just are. match the symbols. Not, not, not tough. Yeah. Just straightforward as it gets. Got a nice chest for our efforts. Hold on. Don't give up. 
give up yet. Sebastian, the relic, look. Could it be? So yeah, I guess uh, <laughs> Sebastian will follow you if you're going in the right direction, but he won't if you're not. So that's actually helpful because there were a lot of turns and side chambers through here, and I certainly don't remember all of them to take the exact path out, but it's not that difficult. And that's a good little trick to know. Yep, here we go. Piece of cake. Well, I mean... It went about as well as I expected it. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. So, for our purposes, uh, we are going to end up being calling it here today, but I'm going to go ahead and travel over to Hogsmeade so that I'm in the location where, when I next jump in, uh, I would like to be to do some upgrades. Uh, so, yeah, guys, um, another really good day. I'm really, really enjoying the storylines in this mission. All of the little uh, kind of dungeons and mines and kind of puzzle schemes they keep throwing out. They keep getting a bit more interesting. The character arcs get a lot more interesting. So just in general, it feels like there is a whole lot more to do. Um, and I'm really, really enjoying it. With every step further I go into the game, a uh, little bit richer the game becomes. So yeah, guys, uh, hopefully you took something away. Again, I think I kind of proved the point that um, if you're really comfortable with the combat, it's not that big of a deal if you're a little underpowered for the level of the mission you're going on, uh, but it definitely helps um, if you are leveled up, if you have the gear that's got the best stuff equipped, if you can clear out some encampments and get some more of those traits, if you've already got the loom set up, got plenty of magical creatures for the parts to craft the traits. Also, obviously, massively helpful, and don't forget to grab the Wigan World potions before you go. Um, that's kind of the key takeaways, aside from the story just getting better and better, and kind of the character development just keeps getting better and better. But, another fun day, guys. Um, next time, we will clear up these last couple little side uh, missions we have currently equipped over in this area. Then we're getting back onto the main path to do the next um, major main story mission dungeon, uh, which obviously that will take us back uh, underground and we'll meet up with Professor Fig for that. Uh, so we'll have plenty more puzzling to do and plenty more encounters to get through. So guys, I appreciate you checking in. Hopefully uh, you took something away from this and, and are enjoying this as much as I am. But until next time, we'll catch you on the next one.